Good afternoon. I'm giving a um, tabletop review of a knife which I have retired. It's a Nepalese cookery that comes from Himalayan Imports. Um, it's probably about 15 years old, this particular one. It's called a Yvesa um, Special, I believe, um, designed by a Cherokee Indian who um, wanted this particular shape and made a wooden version, sent it over to Himalayan Imports. In Nepal who made it and sent it back and now they sell it as well. Now this is um, retired and I'll just um, bring it over here and pull them out a piece at a time. Uh, so sheath is a standard leather dap. It's got a copper um, protection on the back but it's almost sharp and um, has been blunted, um, but it it's, can stick into your leg when you carry it. It's got um, frog which comes on and off, and three holes because it's got three tools which go with it as long as the fourth, which is the uh, hole for the actual cookery itself. So it comes with two little. Um, knives which are recurved. Now the, the blades look a little bit funny because I have coated them in something called Renaissance Wax which is a museum grade wax to try and stop them from rusting now that I've retired them. Um, they are sharp. Uh, 5160 these are full tang Indian rosewood um, with a little bit of um, horn or bone inlay um, and a yin yang pattern and a, sort of a diamond with a dot in the centre so that's a bone inlay wooden handles full tan construction little knives the particular set is designed for butchering deer so these are thought to be um, skinning knives or one skinning and one caping maybe or even these though, they're, they're pretty thick and solid and the handle itself you're looking at a good 6mm, so almost a quarter inch steel there they do taper distally but very uh, solid, they're not going to break on you um, 5160 good Good knives, um, and then it also came with this, which is um, a little awl, I guess you'd call it. You could also use it for honing your knives, I guess. Uh, and I think the idea here is that you can use it for pricking holes for stitching or, or something similar. Rat tail construction on this one, uh, pretty hefty and solid as well. Definitely. A unique piece as far as the cookery's implements go. Now this is the blade itself. I'll get rid of the sheath up there. So this is a double fullered um, rat, rat tang Himalayan imports rosewood handle. It's got some bone um, inlay again, yin yang symbol and these Sort of diamonds with with a dot in the center you'll notice also that it's got quite detailed inscription uh, pushed in with brass and nepalese um, symbols and letters and on this side it's got the english ub which is uncle bill who was the person who kind of started the company up and more words and patterns now it's made from 5160 what makes uh, Himalayan Imports kind of unique or interesting is that they were kind of the first people on the block that started selling knives to Westerners via the internet. So I, I believe they have a shop where they make them, they take orders and they ship them directly to the states where there's a distributor there who receives them and passes them on. Now what also makes them kind of unique is that they're superbly strong um, 
due to the massive amount of metal that's in there. So these blades here are a full centimetre thick. Um, they're hand forged, of course, and that's eleven there. So yeah, they, these these are really heavy, really solid blades. Now the the tempering is water tempering, and you've heard me talk about that. That I'm not a massive fan. I'm not. These won't break on you though. The, these are so big and so heavy that they're basically an axe. Okay, they're, they're not gonna they're not gonna fall apart. Um, <clears throat> They will do a lot of damage. This one but in particular, I was clearing some brush with it once and found that there were cinder blocks in there. I found that due to the fact that there was a loud cracking noise when I hit it and the cinder block um, burst into small pieces. Um, there was a very slight, uh, you can see it just there, amount of denting, which I sharpened out, but still very slight marks from it <clears throat> so the, the overall length of the blade on this one is around 28 centimeters and the handle is a good 13 if you can count this bit here it goes right up to 16 so I mean I can get two hands on there which for a short blade makes it a little bit unwieldy. I mean, you could chop something heavily with that. Designed for Western hands, um, but still a traditional shape. It's just too, too big a handle in my opinion. Too thick a blade, um, too heavy. But I do really like it, and I do like it because of all the, the decoration and the workmanship and the, the, the fact that everything is handmade. Um, that has got into this and it's my first cookery that I used for quite a bit before I decided to get something a little bit lighter. Um, so Himalayan Lion Imports, they still still make them, still get them. If you want a really hefty duty, absolutely rock solid cookery um, to, you know, last out the apocalypse and then one of these, not necessarily this particular model, but for instance, a full tan, like an M43 version of, of this, yeah, you're not going to go wrong. It isn't a, a beautiful slicer though. It's not designed for doing carving or light work, although I imagine you, you could probably choke up on it somehow. And I've seen pictures of, of people with, I think, one of these filleting a fish and was doing a fantastic job. But in my opinion, too thick, uh, just, just, yeah, just, just too big and too heavy. Um, sharp, it's fifty one sixty. I've got, a, you know, razor, razor sharp, and it does look very pretty. And I also heard a story of someone who had a Himalayan Imports was stuck in an apartment building that had caught on fire, couldn't get out their main door because the fire was in the hallway, and so using the cookery, smashed through the wall into the next people's apartment and then got out their door because the fire hadn't spread along the corridor that far and you know saved their lives because they had again it might have been an m43 version or a world war ii version but a full tang version of these and that is a massive slab of sharpened steel so yeah Th this is a great cookery to hang on the wall or to destroy something heavy with but for an everyday using cookery, in my opinion, and in my opinion only, there's many people who will love these and use these. They're just too big and too heavy, I believe. Um, but it's very pretty and it's very nice and I'm not going to get rid of it. And that is Himalayan Imports cookery. This one's a Uvisa special um, beast of a double fullered cookery. Um, a lot of fun, but for my personal opinion, something like this is going to be a much better option. It's you know th these are 
designed to be similar. They're both sort of Ancolas. This one's a double fuller, this one's a single fuller. This one has got a handle which is smaller, still big enough, comfortable. Um, it's not ridiculously thick, just as an opinion. It's, it's, you know, about six or seven mil thick. This is a Kailash Blades, and for a using cookery where you actually want to go out and do a variety of things and slice and cut and chop as well, this is where my money will be spent. This is an interesting beast. Glad I got it. Um, but there's a reason that it's being retired. And I'm not getting rid of it. It's just, um, I don't use it. It's just too big and too heavy. Okay. Come on, imports. I'm not knocking the blades. I think they're great. I think they're Nepalese. I think they do a fantastic job. Just for me personally, they're too big. Uh, and I, I used it a fair bit. It just... I now use other varieties. So if you want Himalayan imports, get one. They're authentic, they're excellent, they're solid, it's never gonna break on you. Uh, just be aware that there's a lot of steel there. And when you're cutting right through something, that does start to wedge up. And I've found that uh, it axes things apart, it smashes them apart, or it stops, it just gets stuck in the wood. Uh, the heft of it will, will limb things easily, but for me, it's it's now just a wall hanger. Yeah. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Oh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thumbs up. Cheers. Thank you.